Now you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> mm, that's unbelievable. Mushrooms, the meat replacement of the forest. Mushrooms are used all over the place in the culinary world and they are commonly used as meat replacements. Mushrooms are just great and I've wanted to explore some of the wild mushrooms that are found around the world and see which ones taste the most like meat. Now the first mushroom of this mushroom series is not actually a mushroom at all. It's a fungus that attacks mushrooms. But it's called a mushroom and it is the lobster mushroom. Now like I said, the lobster mushroom is actually not really a mushroom. The lobster mushroom is this red fungus that attaches itself and feeds off of another mushroom. The lobster mushroom gets its name from the fact that it looks, smells, and it supposedly tastes like cooked lobster. It really does smell like lobster. It is so wild the way these things smell. Now we're gonna be making a lobster roll from scratch with the lobster mushroom, and we're gonna see how much it actually tastes like a lobster roll. So let's get started on making a 100% plant-based lobster roll. So we're gonna clean these up. We're gonna try to keep much of the red fungus on the lobster as possible. And the way I'm gonna do that is with a toothbrush. Now this is just a clean toothbrush. I just bought this in the grocery store just to do this job. And all we're gonna do is try to brush out as much of this dirt as possible. So I'm just gonna do this across all of the mushrooms. It could take some, some pretty serious brushing compared to other mushrooms. And you'll see fairly quickly how, how they clean up. Okay, so now that your mushrooms are cleaned, all I'm going to do is just kinda take off the very bottom of the stem here. These mushrooms are pretty pricey, so I'm only getting rid of a very little bit. I would definitely say these cost a little bit more than their crustacean counterpart, honestly. Okay, I'm good with that. Now, the last thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna kinda chunk these up because I don't know if I wanna exactly like cut them, but I want like claw-sized pieces of meat and they are tough mushrooms, so anything that is tough you can cut up. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. This is not a sponsored video or an ad for the company that I bought these from, because I did buy them, I paid full price, but lobster mushrooms are kinda tough to find. There we go, that looks perfect. This is about a pound of the lobster mushroom. So to really nail home this lobster taste, we're gonna saute these in a butter. I'm gonna use Earth Balance, a vegan butter. So I'm gonna start with about a tablespoon of butter. I'm also gonna mince up a clove of garlic. This is a video that I've wanted to make for a while and just haven't had the opportunity to make it because I've had a hard time finding these mushrooms. But now that I found them, I am so excited to try these things out. They just, they look amazing and I think this is gonna be a really cool recipe. I'm gonna do just a little bit more butter because we're gonna want quite a bit of butter, honestly. All we're gonna do is allow the garlic to cook down for a minute and soften up. Once that's softened up, we're gonna throw the lobster mushrooms right into the butter and then kinda toss them around and make sure that they are all nice and evenly coated. And if they're not coated with butter, then we need to add more butter. God, they smell just like lobster. I mean, I can't get over the seafood smell. <laughs> oh, that's so impressive. Now I do have this on kind of a low heat because the whole object is not to cook these all the way you know, to really like cook them. We're just simmering this butter in, soften them up and allow them to release some of their moisture. I can't get over this. I mean, it's literally, it's blowing my mind. I know it's, I've seen, I've experienced some really cool things with the way plants react and the way that they smell and taste and things like that. But I will tell you, this is really blowing my mind. So I don't wanna scratch up my pan, but I d really did think these were gonna shrink up quite a bit more than what they did. So I am gonna kinda cut a few of these larger pieces open because you don't want huge giant chunks of lobster in your lobster roll. I really did think that these would have shrunk more than what they did, but they have, they have handled themselves to the heat. I will say these are some impressive mushrooms. Okay, so last thing, just to drive home some more of that seafood flavoring and just seafood taste. I'm just gonna do just a really light sprinkle of Old Bay on these guys. It's gonna just kinda help that flavor along. And I'll tell you, that Old Bay just kicked up the seafood smell sensation that I was getting. So these look pretty good. I'm gonna take them off the heat. My initial thought, I'm still gonna try it, was to run the lobster through some cheesecloth, just a single layer of cheesecloth, and see if we can get some of that butter and garlic strained through, because I would love to use this butter later on. I thought there would be a lot more, but it seems like the mushrooms have definitely soaked up quite a bit. Okay, I'm gonna drop our lobster mushrooms into a bowl here. So for me, my favorite type of lobster roll is a main lobster roll, so we are going to 
chill these mushrooms. And cover them up, allow them to cool down for a bit, and then I'm gonna drop them in the refrigerator while we do our next step. We're gonna make our buns. Let's prep our lobster mushroom salad. So we're gonna do a large bowl. So I'm gonna chop up just a bit of celery. Now this is just however much you like in your lobster salad. I personally like a decent amount of celery. I'm gonna add a green onion. Personally for this, I really like the green bits. I'm gonna add a lot of color. And we don't need a whole lot of this green onion. That's just gonna be there for some flavor and a little bit of color. And then lastly, to really brighten this up, we're just gonna add a bit of tarragon. We're gonna add some mayo. This is Hellman's vegan mayo. Normally, honestly, I buy the just mayo, but the grocery store I went to was out of it. I'm gonna try about two tablespoons at first and just see what this looks like. So really to drive this home, I'm gonna add just a squeeze of lemon. I tell you, this does not look like any plant-based salad that I have seen in a long time. This looks like, it looks like a lobster salad. I, I, am, I am just taken back. So we're gonna add a nice pinch, healthy pinch of some salt. Few turns of fresh cracked black pepper. So I'm gonna drop this back on the small bowl here and we are gonna put this back in the fridge until our buns are done. So good thing I have a backup, I have a regular bun. Now this is still a vegan bun. I found this in my bakery. They had some that had no egg wash or anything like that. This is a local bakery. So I just got my iron skillet heating up. I'm gonna do like a pretty decently high heat. We're just gonna spread some butter on the sides of this guy. I'm just gonna drop it down and let this toast each side. This is gonna be amazing. Okay, perfect. Now all we gotta do is just split this guy open. This is a soft bun. Perfect. I, I am just stoked about this. So for me, I just like a little bit of lettuce in mine. I'm not even using that much. And then all I'm gonna do is just spoon in this mixture, make sure it's overflowing, and give it a nice little squeeze of some lemon juice on top. And there it is. That is the lobster mushroom roll. And I'll tell you, on my end, this thing smells like a lobster roll. I mean, it looks like a lobster roll. As long as it smells and looks like a lobster roll, and it has that taste of a lobster roll, I'm gonna be happy. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Mm, mm, mm. That's unbelievable. That is downright wonderful. I mean, absolutely wonderful. The taste of these mushrooms is so shocking. Now the texture is a little bitey. The texture is a little, um, I don't know how to describe the texture. It's almost like it squeezes like a piece of lobster would, but then when you bite into it, it doesn't have as much chew, but the taste is just phenomenal. I mean, it really tastes like a lobster. <laughs> I mean, that's just, that is wonderful. I cannot get over it. Well, that's the lobster roll. The people that are scrolling over here on the side, those are the people from the Sauce Squad. You can join the Sauce Squad over at patreon.com slash sauce dash. It's only a few dollars and you can get your name on this list right over here. That's pretty awesome. Make sure you click the subscribe button and click this little video here. This is a video that YouTube thinks you're gonna like. I'm gonna finish this off. I might have another one. Mm.